Metadata Descriptive, Editorial, Technical, Administrative, Structural, and more. Why is it so important? When you're managing a vast library of digital media assets, you need information about those assets to properly store, organize, sort, and find all your data without effort. Today I'm going to show you how Dillette Flex for Teams can help you ingest your digital assets, extract technical metadata, and add AI-produced metadata while allowing you to enrich that metadata as much as required so you can organize and find your assets when you need them. Hi, I'm Sharif Khan, host of Dillette Quick Cut series and solution architect with Dillette. Dillette Flex starts creating metadata and tracking your assets from the point of ingest into the system. When launching the Flex Move tool to upload an asset into the system, the user is presented with a metadata form. This is the first step to providing that rich descriptive metadata you need for your library. At the top, you can select the exact location where the asset should be uploaded within your custom organizational hierarchy. You can then fill in any editorial metadata required and even choose to optionally start an AI analysis of the asset to provide temporal metadata that will help you find not only the asset, but also what someone said within the asset. Optionally, you can simply drop a CSV file into the asset list, and Flex can extract the metadata directly from the CSV during import. Now you just click the Upload button. As Dillette Flex ingests the asset, you can watch the progress in the notification panel that's accessed by clicking on the Bell button. While the content ingests, Dillette Flex analyzes the asset you just uploaded and extracts technical metadata from the asset to present in the FlexMAM user interface. After the ingest is completed, you can view all the metadata in these tabs of the Asset Preview panel. First, the editorial metadata we entered on the FlexMove panel, then some technical metadata, and finally the temporal metadata from the AI speech-to-text analysis. Along with assets, Dillette Flex for Teams also allows you to create placeholder assets, video sequences, and custom objects, which can act like a folder structure for organization of your assets. To create a placeholder asset, you simply click on the Create button and select the placeholder asset icon. You'll now select what kind of placeholder you're creating, be it audio, video, or another asset type, which can be linked to a specific metadata schema. Once created, the placeholder is visible in FlexMap. At this point, you can start enriching the metadata of this placeholder asset before you even have a file associated with it. Eventually, this placeholder will be filled by an incoming asset uploaded by a user, and Dillette Flex will automatically add any technical metadata about the asset. The placeholders and assets can be further sorted into an object or folder hierarchy as seen here with user-defined objects or UDOs. Each level of this hierarchy can also have its own descriptive metadata that's important for that level. In this example, I'm showing a simple series season episode hierarchy. The descriptive metadata on both the assets and the object hierarchy are completely customizable by administrators. You simply go into the metadata designer here and navigate to the metadata definition you want to edit. Then you can add, remove, or edit the metadata so they suit your needs. Video sequences can be created using the sequence editor and the sequences can also have their own metadata associated to them. To create a sequence, just click on Sequence, and then give it a name. The Sequence Editor opens, and now you can drag and drop your clips from the bin into the timeline in the order you desire. Now when you go back to the main view, you can see your new video sequence asset at the top of the list. If you click on it, you'll see that descriptive metadata associated with the sequence. Remember that this metadata definition is customizable, so an administrator can change it to suit your workflow needs. So now let's quickly talk about the various asset types you can manage in Dillette Flex. Using the Flex MAM, you can sort the results column by the asset type. This includes the object or folder hierarchy I mentioned earlier. You can even see previews of the common asset types like this document preview here. Using all the wonderful editorial metadata and temporal metadata, I can create custom search profiles to use with one click. If I want to search for a video where I said my own name, I just type my name into the elastic search bar and then click on the result, 
and I'll be taken to the exact location in the asset where I said my name. Metadata is such an important aspect of organizing and finding your assets, and Delet Flex for Teams was built to handle everything from ingest to metadata enrichment and making your content easy to search and use. Thanks again for watching this series, and I hope this episode was useful for you. Please like and subscribe so you can be notified of the latest episodes, and comment below to let me know what else you'd like to see and understand about Delet Flex for Teams.